In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the maximum spring compression from a sliding mass interacting with a spring. The question reads, a three kilogram block sliding at 12 meters per second along a frictionless surface encounters a spring with a force constant of 500 newtons per meter resting on a surface with a coefficient of friction of 0 0.25. The friction surface is only under the spring. What is the maximum compression of that spring? Let's begin with an illustration. Let's say we have a spring that is right here, it's uncompressed, and a mass that is three kilograms and moving at a velocity of 12 meters per second. The friction starts along this surface here. The first thing that I wanna do is calculate the kinetic energy that exists before this mass comes in contact with the spring. Kinetic energy is calculated using the formula mass times velocity raised to the power of two over two. So by taking the mass of three kilograms, the velocity is 12 meters per second. So I'll have 12 meters per second and that's being raised to the power of two over two. Let's use our calculator to find out what that is. We have three times 12 raised to the power of two divided by two. So that's the amount of kinetic energy that exists as this mass is sliding, 216 joules. And the reason why I use the units joules is because joules is the same thing as newtons times meters. And newtons can be broken down into kilograms times meters per second squared. And having that meters there, combining all of this, you get one joule. So this energy will go into compressing the spring. Now there's two things that this energy needs to overcome. It needs to overcome the work required to compress the spring, and it also needs to overcome the work required to overcome the friction. I'll write down that the kinetic energy goes into compressing the spring, and you can find the amount of work required to compress a spring using the formula work is equal to the constant K, and that's different for every spring, times x to the power of two over two, where x represents the distance that it gets compressed. So the kinetic energy goes into this, and as I mentioned, it will also go into the amount of work required to overcome that friction. Let's come up with an expression for that now. The expression can be written as the force multiply to the coefficient of friction being 0.25, and I'll represent that momentarily as mu, and we multiply that by the distance that it gets compressed, which I'll represent as x. Remember, work is defined as force times displacement, and here we have our force, and that's our displacement, so multiplying this together gives us the amount of work. Let me write that in here. We have force times mu times x. Now I can go ahead and replace everything that I know. So I know that the kinetic energy at the very beginning, which goes into all of this, is 216. They gave us the constant as 500 newtons per meter. So 500 newtons per meter, and I'll write down joules. X is what we're looking for, right? They ask us in the question, what is the maximum compression? So by finding X, we actually have found that. I'll write down X to the power of two over two, plus the force, which we haven't found yet, that's equal to mass times acceleration. So mass is three, the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared, and we multiply these two together times mu. So three times 9.8 times mu, which is given in the question as 0 0.25, and that is 4.9. So 4.9x. By solving for x, we have found the maximum compression. Let's simplify this a little bit. We have 216 is equal to 500 divided by two. That's 250. And I'll ignore the units for a moment, just so that we don't get confused with everything. The units to this, by the way, were in Newtons, in case you're curious x squared plus 4.9x. I need to solve for x, and as you can tell, this equation is a quadratic because we have a power of two. So we'll use the quadratic formula, 250x squared plus 4.9x. 
minus 216. Let's use a function on our calculator that will help us find the roots. I'm not going to use the quadratic formula because I know you know how to use it already, especially if you're at this level. So 250 as A, 4.9 as B, and C is negative 216. We end up with 0 0.91, and I'll round this to 0 0.92 meters. The other answer is negative 0 0.93. That doesn't make sense in this case, so we'll ignore that. That is the total amount of distance, approximately, that will be compressed when this mass comes in contact with it. So 0 0.92 meters. Of course, if it was going faster, you would be compressing it more, and if the weight was more, it would do the same thing. But given these parameters, 0 0.92 meters is the maximum it will go.